Not so long ago, we spoke about how Greater Manchester Police failed in its recording of thousands of crime reports ahead of its intervention by Her Majesty's Inspector of Constabularies and Fire and Rescue Services. Well, now it's Police Scotland's turn after an audit carried out by Her Majesty's Inspector of Constabulary in Scotland, citing that Police Scotland has failed to adequately learn lessons on recording crime. The audit found that although the force's accuracy and compliance with, with national recording guidelines is generally good, Recurring errors date back to 2013. After examining accuracy and compliance on more than 10,000 crimes, incidents and crime records, they found that Scotland-wide 90.8% of crime was counted and classified correctly, down from 4.3% from the last audit in 2016, while 91.4% of incidents were properly closed, down from 92.7%. A total of 91.1% of, crime, of crimes were recorded within 72 hours of being reported to the police, it's a marginal rise from a total of 91.1% of crimes were, were recorded within 72 hours of being reported to the police, which is just a marginal rise from 90.8% in 2016. But even so, the force failed to meet its 95% compliance target, and the overall figures masked variations across Scotland, with the lowest being 70.7% and the highest being 98.6%. The report found scope for improvement in recording sexual and violent crimes after a fall in standards, but praised compliance rates in recording domestic abuse, with 10 out of 13 divisions achieving more than 95%. Police Scotland still do not have a national crime recording system, which imposes a limit to the extent of which there can be consistency across the force, with the report stating that until this is implemented, crime recording cannot be managed as effectively and efficiently as possible. Jill Imery from Her Majesty's Inspector of Constabulary in Scotland said, There seems to have been insufficient organisational learning from our audits, as well as from Police Scotland's own internal audits over the past seven years. She said recorded crime statistics go right to the heart of public confidence and it is essential crimes are recorded accurately and ethically. Our results show there is a need for improvement in many local policing divisions for Police Scotland to meet its own target of 95% of records filed accurately. For a National Police Service aspiring to provide the same quality of service to communities across the country, it is disappointing to find wide variations in compliance with recording standards at local level. Progress towards standardisation may be limited until there is a national crime management system in place. She made six recommendations for improvement, including revising the crime recording strategy to focus on effective implementation to ensure internal crime recording audits are publicly reported and to develop a comprehensive approach to learning and training in that particular area. Justice Secretary Hamza Yousaf welcomed the report, saying it is important for ensuring police continue to maintain best practice and make any necessary improvements. Hamza added, of course, while the vast majority of cases are counted correctly, not all mistakes represent an undercount of crime. In some instances, crimes have been overcounted by all main measures, Crime, including violent crime, is now considerably lower than a decade ago, with fewer victims. So in some instances, crimes have been overcounted. Why and how on earth are crimes overcounted? Does that mean that they didn't actually happen? How, how can you count a crime that doesn't exist? Incredible. Very big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as no many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.